Here's my Onan 4 kilowatt RV generator. Um, instead of having to run outside and uh, push the start button, I wired up this sweet little uh, remote here. Um, has a little cover you can slip over it so you can't hit the buttons. This is a two channel and there you only need a one channel to uh, to make it work. Um, let me show you how I uh, how I did it here and I'll show you it in operation. Um, so on the top here there's terminal 1, terminal 2, and terminal 3. Terminal 1 is ground and you go ground to 3 which starts the motor and ground to 2 which kills the motor. Um, so I use a, uh, this is a tr uh, receiver for the little transmitter and uh, like I said it's a two channel but I'm only using one channel. Uh, when the relay switch is in the off position, uh, it's um, the normally closed contact shorts ground to pin two, which kills the engine if it was running. And then when it's in the on position, it, it uh, activates this one shot timer that is adjustable here. This is the uh, DEI528T. Um, this is adjustable from one second to 60 seconds, and I have it set to uh, 2.3 or 2.4-ish seconds, um, and that's uh, that's what cranks my engine over. So when it's in the other position, this one shots cranks the engine over and uh, keeps it running. Um, and because this is using all one battery, it's all 12 volts. Um, you don't really need to hook up the ground to the to the I.O. over there. Um, so anyways, I'm going to walk away from the generator here. Alright, we've got our little handy dandy remote. Push the A once. Generator fires right up. And B does nothing. I'm going to hook that up to a, uh, to a light or something later. And when we want to kill our generator, we uh, push A again, which will shut it down. Uh, there you go. There's the Onan 4K with a uh, two-channel wireless receiver and a one-shot timer.